And we are back with another Big Brother 26 episode review. This is going to be the last two episodes. I'm not going to lie. I forgot what numbers they are. Maybe like 38 and 39 or 39 and 40, 37 and 38. It's something somewhere around there, I feel. I feel like I haven't been on camera in so long. I say that every single week, it seemed like. Doing these once a week is like crazy, but these episodes just come on way too late. And I was supposed to review this yesterday, but I literally was just so tired because I... Long story, personal life, long story, I got home very, very late, watched the episode very, very late, and I was just like, I cannot get on camera and give a half, a half-hearted review. So let me get on here and give an actual review of the episode that we just watched. Now, I'm going to start from the episode on Sunday, though, which I'm just going to say Chelsea won HOH. We got a lot of hope during that HOH that Rubina was going to win because Chelsea was, like, too behind. She had, like, the first two points did not go to Chelsea, so that was kind of cool, not going to lie. But we've seen Chelsea be super resilient and come back from stuff like this before. And she did just that. She became HOH for the fourth time. And they said that this is the record for HOH wins. I did not know that the most HOHs was four. I feel like I remember watching Big Brother 15 and that girl Erin, I think was her name, the racist lady. Uh, she, I remember she, it felt like she was HOH like every single week. Like I think she was like, HOH, then not, then HOH, then not, then HOH. Like, she just kept winning. So I felt like she had the record. But then I guess, like, they say Vanessa has the record in Big Brother 17, which those seasons, 17 and 18, is kind of hard for me to, like, remember because I really didn't like the Battle of the Block twist, and there just was so many HOHs. Like, everyone won HOH those seasons, I feel like. But either way, congratulations to Chelsea for breaking that record or tying that record. She's... Uh, she won a lot of HOHs, <laughs> but she's HOH, and she decides to put up her two allies, Cam and Mackenzie, who are the two that she wants to be in the final three with, because she thinks both of them will take her to the end. She puts them up to try to, like, gain favor with Rubina, so that if Rubina won veto, she would actually, if she made it to the final three, maybe she would still take Chelsea to the final two. Mackenzie didn't even care about going on a block, because the, the block don't matter. It's all about the veto, which... Cam kind of figured, I feel like. But Rubina, for some reason, didn't want to go on the block. So Chelsea gave her what she wanted. did put her up. But then we go to the veto. And that's where this episode starts. Or, yeah, kicks it back up. From, because last episode, it ended with the veto. So the veto was the days. The days comp. Everyone knows that there's always a days comp. So they study the days. I think that's so funny. Because, like, if you watch this show, they repeat a lot of challenges. But the one that everyone studies up for is the days so we saw this it was pretty cool it was just like uh, the five and the one so it wasn't really like i remember sometimes they had like a ride a bike or something or do something a circle so many times this one was just you gotta hit the button hit, hit it fast and then rubina was eliminated first unfortunately again i think chelsea was behind or mckenzie was behind or somebody but rubina just like they came back and rubina was the first one eliminated and then chelsea was eliminated which was so sus like okay rubina's out so now you can get out I just felt that sus. And then we saw the final two, Mackenzie and Cam, and Mackenzie got it. Cam was very upset, threw a temper tantrum, hit the wall. She, Mackenzie's like, oh, shoot. Because <laughs> they've still been bullying Cam or talking about teasing Cam about not winning competition. So he really wanted to get the win here. And he was really close, but he did not get it. Also, Mackenzie was thinking about getting Cam out, which is crazy because, like, they were, like, a half with a half mans. Like, they were almost a show mans. Almost mans? I don't know. But she's thinking about getting rid of him just because he would definitely take Chelsea. And Rubina at least is up in the air. And I 100% agree with Mackenzie. I feel like she should have got rid of Cam. But anyway, let's get back to it. Mackenzie was like, super happy for herself and Chelsea was happy but Chelsea also was kind of not because she wanted Cam to win but like in public she was very happy uh Rubina is crazy because she honestly thought that Cam she's like oh yeah Cam knows what's coming like no like y'all been talking about a girl alliance since there were six girls left and y'all like look there's three of them already left so you still think there's a girl alliance like you're cra you're out your mind so uh, and then Cam was the opposite. Like, he thought, like, Rubina's leaving. But Ru Cam still campaigned because he felt like, oh, you never know. And Chelsea was completely blaming Mackenzie. Like, yeah, Mackenzie's thinking about getting rid of you. I'm, like, showing Cam that she's fighting to keep Cam. And then Cam had this thing with Mackenzie where he says, oh, maybe I'll get rid of Chelsea because I got to have a shock factor. And that would have been amazing. I talked about that in a different episode review idea where it's like, let him do the Netta and John. I forgot the dude's name. But a Netta situation with BB Cam. B 
BB can when they got rid of Netta and she was the best player. Or I guess you can use Vanessa, Vanessa and Steve situation. Like that would be amazing. But Cam's not actually even gonna do it. So now we see a jury house segment, and this was cool. This was fun. It wasn't as excited as the first one, but we see that <laughs> Quinn answers. He's still like lusting over uh, Leah. He's like, oh, like he's. He's still thirsting over Leah. He's like, oh, yeah, I know everyone wants to know that we're taking it slow. And Leah said the same thing, but Leah seems a little bit out of context. I don't know. I, I, I hope the best for them. I don't know. I personally, I don't know. I just feel like I don't see a showmance on this season at all. But I feel like uh, the, it's being forced a lot. Like, with, rather it's with Leah and Quinn or with Chelsea and Cam or Mackenzie and Cam. It just, none of it seems really super authentic or like it's gonna go anywhere in my opinion that's just my opinion like i should have been on the show for leah like let's be honest but anyway uh angela really wants chelsea out she's not a chelsea fan leah is just like going for mckenzie like saying like how good mckenzie is but then she says like i can't believe they haven't got her out yet so she kind of wants mckenzie out so a little bit of a change from her from last week Quinn is saying good things about Chelsea. t -Core, of course, is still obsessed with Chelsea. It's crazy and it's becoming a meme how much she talks about Chelsea. Somebody should put together a, like, was it not a collage? Because collage is with pictures. But can collage be with videos? Compilation of <laughs> of uh, t -Core talking about Chelsea. Because it is insane. It is so insane. And I, when she gets out the house, I hope she realizes how much of a meme like laughable meme it is of her trying to protect Chelsea but none of them all of them agree that they don't want chemo to enter the jury house and then chemo enters hello hello <laughs> they watch chemo's video and they're all just like oh they put up chemo and Rubina oh this yada yada but it's like oh yeah of course y'all all say there's not a child in the jury house because they're talking about how boring and how predictable that is yada yada blah 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 but it's like Leah you did the same thing like <laughs> And, I mean, T-Core, you didn't get out anyone that was... I mean, you got out someone super noteworthy, but you got out someone that was going to help you. Angela, uh, I don't remember Angela's last HOH and what she did with it, to be honest. I remember the first one, but her second HOH, what did she actually do? Who did she get out? It wasn't Joseph, because Quinn got Joseph out. Oh, her second HOH, she didn't get to have one. Quinn took it over, that's right. Jeez, that sucks. Yeah, what could have been? What could have been? But anyway, uh, now we go to back to the studio. We see Jack. Jack is with Julie. And I'm not a big Jack fan. I'm sure a lot of people aren't big Jack fans. His game wasn't very... He wasn't very likable. Let's just say that. Um, but I do think he's a good person. I do think he's a good person. But does that sound weird? Like I think he's a good person, but he wasn't likable. He wasn't likable on the show, in my opinion. And, like, I'm never going to root for somebody that just wins everything and is just, like, never in danger. Well, he was in danger. He got evicted. But I don't know what I'm trying to say, but let's move on. He said he really likes the season. He loved the AI Arena twist. He felt like every single week was, like, a double eviction because you never knew who was going to win at AI Arena. I feel like they should keep the AI Arena at least for one more season because, they. I mean, they kept the battle of the block for two seasons. Keep AI Arena. Just change it to something else from AI. Unless you want to keep the AI theme in general. That, I wouldn't mind when I'm on the season next season, hopefully. But that was fine. She asked him what he thinks the worst and best move of the season was. He said the worst move was Mackenzie putting up Leah. And in my opinion, I don't think you can say that was the worst move of the season because she's still there. Like, Mackenzie is still in the house. And she still has the potential to win. So if she wins this season, you can't say that's the worst move. In my opinion, the worst move of the season was t Core getting rid of Tucker. Because that was her ally. And, I mean, arguably, it could be Quinn getting rid of Joseph. Because that was his ally. But he didn't, like, you know, putting Joseph on the block. Uh, t Core nominating Tucker. Those are, like, the worst moves, I would say. Uh, but I see what he's saying. I, You know, his opinion. And then the best move, he said, was the same move, but from Chelsea's side. Chelsea convincing McKenzie to put up Leah, and I do agree with that. I think that's the best move of the whole season. So, yeah. Also, the worst move could be Quinn telling everybody about his power. That was a pretty bad one. Maybe even McKenzie telling her. Well, McKenzie's still there, so that's the thing. If McKenzie loses in Final 3, if she don't make it to Final 2, yes, worst move, 
I can agree with Jack. But right now, I don't know if I can agree with that. Then, Julie asked him, like, he was on the last veto. He was in a predicament where it was Matt versus Felicia. And I, he gave this answer that I disagree with because it's like, boy, you knew you were keeping Matt. Ain't no way you were about to take Felicia to the final three. There's no way. You know you were keeping Matt. You always wanted to go to the final two with Matt. So I didn't really take that seriously. Then she asked him his opinion on all four of the house guests left. He said that Rubina is in a unique spot because uh, she, if she makes it to the final two, she he thinks she does have a chance at winning. I personally don't, unless she made it. The only way I could see Rubina having a chance at winning is if she won the final uh, veto. If she won that veto and she was the one to eliminate, and she would have had to evict either Cam or McKenzie, not... Oh, wait, no, not Cam or McKenzie. I said they're wrong. She would have had to evict Chelsea or McKenzie. Most likely more Chelsea for me to consider her eligible for the win. But that's what he said about her. For McKenzie, he said that she won a lot of competitions, just like him. But the way she wins is based off who she takes. If she takes Chelsea, she loses. Basically, that's what he said. And for Cam, he kind of laughed because, like, I guess out of these four, Cam is the worst one. Because, like, Cam sitting next to any of them loses, right? Unless he makes a big move. Uh, he said, but he, I like what he said, though. He said, like, he would have to sit in the final two and have a speech that will convince the jury that everything he did was strategy. If he says that all this was strategy, he would have to have a really good speech, basically. Uh, and then Chelsea, he says the best player. He said that he thinks that she's going to win. I do, too. We see this little scene that I wasn't going to mention at first, but I feel like I have to. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, of Cam can't cook. So, at first, he was making what looked like a BLT, at first. But then it wasn't. He put, like, barbecue sauce on it, and, like, I, I, like, I watched this last night, so I don't remember everything. I know I have bacon, cheese, barbecue sauce, which I guess that's fine, right? But then the bread was, like, not even toasted, and, like, I noticed that immediately, because, like, not toasted. I'm, I one time made a BLT and forgot to toast the bread, and I'm telling you, it is a different sandwich all together but like rubina said like, you're not even gonna toast the bread he's like oh no i am about to on the stove like he grilled the bread and that shit was so burnt he burnt the bacon first of all he burnt the bacon and then he burnt the bread like that had to be so nasty i'm sorry but it was funny i had to mention it and then he like flipped it and the stuff fell out it was not good and my thing is did he even put butter or like any type of thing on the pan because that bread was so burnt. But I guess if he didn't, the bread would have stuck to the pan. I don't know. So then we just see some talks. We saw, like, Mackenzie talk to Rubina. Mackenzie talked to Cam. Uh, Chelsea talked to Cam. It was just, like, a bunch of talks. Nothing really super noteworthy or important came out of those. See the veto ceremony. We see Mackenzie use the veto on herself, which I forgot that Mackenzie was even on a block steal. I thought that they already used the veto. <laughs> But she used the veto. Uh, now Rubina's nominated. So Rubina was not on the block for very long. Because then <laughs> Mackenzie just voted Rubina out. And she said it was because of loyalty and yada yada and blah blah blah. And that, she saying that in public to me, well, that made Cam's decision. So if Cam has to make the decision between Mackenzie and Chelsea, he can just say all that stuff again. And just say, I'm, that's why I'm taking Chelsea. Chelsea's winning the seat, my guys. Uh, Rubina went off. Well, she went out with a lot of grace. She was really nice. Oh, and the dogs in the crib comment. Uh, because Cam did his speech and didn't mention it, so Julie mentioned it. And then, like, everybody went crazy in the house. Like, it was, like she said something mon monumental. Uh, then Rubina mentioned it, and that was funny. Uh, she left out her... Uh, interview was very, very good, very graceful. She's a very likable person. As you, like, I didn't like this episode because Rubina got eliminated. And y'all know that on my episode one, two review, I said Rubina was my number one favorite in this whole house. And of course, I have my ups and downs with her. There was times where I wanted her evicted because she just wasn't doing nothing. She wasn't doing anything. I feel like she didn't, she, there was some episodes where she didn't even get a diary room. Uh, she, I feel like her voice was heard mainly Arguably with the Tucker Showmans or with the trios, which, how did that trio not get an alliance name? That's insane to me. But I like her as a person. She's a likable person. Big Brother player, I don't think she was good, and I don't think she'll be bad. But she was fun. She's a fun lady. And they asked her about Tucker, and I was very nervous about what she was going to say because I know Tucker really likes her and is waiting on her. And I feel like she likes Tucker and is waiting on him, but she didn't want to 
She don't know how he feels, so she didn't want to, like, embarrass herself on TV. But he really likes her. And she said, like, she hopes that she has hope for their relationship. So that was cool. Uh, but that's it for this video, y'all. The finale is on Sunday, two hours. I'm really going to try. I want to do a live because I want to get that video out. I want to, like, I'll even do a watch along because I don't know if anyone does a watch along. But I don't know how it would do on YouTube with the only problem. I don't have like a big big brother following on these videos. So then if I did a live, like what would that actually do? Like I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video though. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all four social media. And until next time y'all, I will catch y'all later.